AMD sees huge, massive performance gains from a single driver update, like three to four times extra performance. Quibi suffers a post-mortem defeat. Let's all celebrate. And Intel makes it so that you will never, ever, 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 ever have to shut down your computer again. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your host, Brett. We're gonna be jumping right into the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And what's supposed to be in here is a hot cup of coffee, but because it's 10 p.m. when I'm filming this for you guys to get it out at 9 a.m. Eastern, I don't drink coffee this late, otherwise I won't ever be able to sleep. And AMD's not sleeping on trying to get their most out of their GPUs because they've partnered with Microsoft directly to bring huge performance off lifts to their RX 6000 series GPUs in TensorFlow Direct. ML applications. This is something that Microsoft has been developing in coordination with Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA to make it so that it works in DirectX 12 so that it's hardware accelerated across DirectX 12 graphics cards and could potentially be used in video games sometime in the near future, but also in more productivity minded aspects, especially that use machine learning and any sort of neural net. So specifically what we're talking about here is Microsoft and AMD teaming up with the latest version of TensorFlow Direct ML and the latest AMD Radeon drivers. And what you see is that the 6900 XT gets a 4.4 times performance bump in the TensorFlow Direct ML training so score. Score, that's the word I'm trying to say, score. The RX 6600 XT gets a 3.7 times bump, which makes it so that the newest driver is faster than the 6900 XT on the previous driver, which is an absolutely massive increase no matter what benchmark you're seeing. Having AMD optimize their driver to give consumers more performance per for free, poor free. Words on coming well out today. It's always a good thing. Whether or not we're gonna see Nvidia come out with something similar with their driver updates, or if we might have Intel start talking about how they're gonna be using direct ML, it remains to be seen, but AMD being at the forefront of this conversation with the different scores that they got on the training, and it's just massive three to four times performance gains on all of them. Are you using machine learning in anything that you're doing on a regular basis? Do you anticipate it becoming a more part of your work? workflow as you move forward. Will you consider switching to AMD for this? Obviously, this is AMD to AMD and driver to driver, not AMD versus NVIDIA, so we don't have the exact scores here. This is really just a very narrow benchmark, but from driver to driver, this is a great update that I'd like to see from AMD. And I don't know if I'd like to see this from Razer, but they made little gauntlet socks for your thumbs and your fingers so that you can play video games unencumbered. Look at those gaming thimbles that just sock onto your fingers. That's Hmm, gives a different meaning to the term gamer sock. They only cost 10 bucks. You can pick them up from Razer's web store, but they are smooth, high sensitivity fabric for video gaming. And they're meant to be lightweight and breathable so that, you know, those puppies can breathe. All right, your dogs aren't barking after you get done with a really great game of today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. And you won't need to wear those gamer socks on your thumbs when you're trying to type in your password on Microsoft because you might no longer need to do that. Microsoft making it so that you don't necessarily need a password if you enable other authentication measures such as the Microsoft Authenticator app, Windows Hello, security key or SMS or emailed codes, which uh, kind of mixed on the security viability of all of this. Definitely make sure you have two-factor authentication on whatever login that you're doing, but making it so that you don't necessarily need a password if you have other combination of stuff that you're trying to do to log into Microsoft. Does, does this affect you personally? The only time I've ever logged into Microsoft is like when they're forcing me to, if I'm trying to like benchmark an Xbox game or something like that, or like on an Xbox, I really don't ever use it other than that. I wanna hear from you. Does this matter to you down below in the comments? And I know this matters to a lot of you crypto stonks. Let's get into it. Bitcoin up 2%, 47,974, almost 48 grand. Look at that increase today. Ethereum up 5.73%. That's a, that's a mighty fine increase in one day. That's volatile as heck. $3,588 where it's sitting at as of the time of recording. Doga Coina. 24 cents, up 2.25 cents. Game stop, yum. Up 2.65% on the day to close at 204.52 AMC down just a little bit, almost 1% to 4684, not too much of a decline, mostly green all around, meme stonks doing pretty dang decent. And I'll tell you what's no longer a meme, electric pickup trucks, Rivian, rolling off their first R1T pickup truck off their production line, as you can see right here, rolling out so that the launch edition can start to come out. Rivian would be what I would consider is Tesla's main rival when it comes to what could be the next electric car brand that could be out there in the open. I very much believe in what they're doing here, so it's exciting to see that Rivian's getting that 
that done. And SpaceX is getting it done. They're sending private people up into space, up into orbit, and that has successfully been done with SpaceX launching their Inspiration 4 all private crew, which includes a billionaire, a billionaire's employees, and then somebody from the St. Jude's Children's Hospital, as well as a winner of a contest. They're currently in nominal orbit. They took off about two hours ago, so it's gonna be a little while before anything else happens, but you can see that they're happy in the Crew Dragon capsule right there. And this is part of a massive fundraiser that they're doing for St. Jude's Children's Hospital with the billionaire donating $100 million and also trying to raise another $100 million in awareness with all of this. So not necessarily just a billionaire greedy event, like some good is coming out of this. I don't want to get into the politics of how billionaires should spend their money, but I do want to get into the politics of whether or not murder dog robots are coming for you. And that's just, well, they're getting smarter. Boston Dynamics Spot has a new update where it can now re automatically dynamically change its route in case you screw something up and you like leave a body on the floor it'll step over it'll go around it won't be disturbed by what's happening in its footpath it'll automatically reprogram that and get it to just spot on on somewhere else my words are bad today but what's even better than my bad words is quibi getting hit with a lawsuit and having to settle after they're already dead. Let's freaking go. This is because of Quibi allegedly stealing the turnstile technology that they use where that was the whole selling feature of Quibi. Oh, look at us. We, where's my phone? Oh, you can watch a video in portrait and then you can watch it on landscape and it's gonna be the same, okay? We had to have two cameras on every single time and made it so that it's like really cool. And, and it, it, uh, somebody sued them over it because they were like, we, we have this technology and you're just taking it from us. A company called Echo. Echo sought over $100 million in damages from Quibi, and the companies have settled their legal claims against each other, and Quibi is transferring all of that technology over to Eco Echo, however I'm supposed to be pronouncing it, and the former founder of Quibi saying, we are satisfied with the outcome of this litigation and proud of the independently created contributions of Quibi and its engineering team to content presentation technology. You, you invented something that nobody needed. It just doesn't make any sense. I invented a hot dog that sits in Razor's gaming thimbles. There you go, your world. You're welcome. Catelyn, show the world my creation. I'm an engineer. The world bask in my creativity. Where's my thanks, Jeffrey Katzenberger? Anyways, Quibi's dead. They just lost the lawsuit. Just handed over all their technology. Hopefully, this is the last we hear of them. Unless it's like some sort of like worst thing that happens where like Quibi has to like retroactively pay hundreds of billions of dollars for everything else that they did incorrectly and poorly. I don't know. I, I'm looking forward to the day where we could potentially talk about more bad Quibi news. Not good Quibi news. I never want that. Anyways, I want to see pictures of new Intel's new CPUs, but I'll settle for pictures of the socket. I want to know where that CPU is going. Oh, that looks like every other socket. Cool. LGA 1700 picture right there. You go. But what is really cool, and I won't dismiss miss as much as the socket picture is Intel's working on a new way to update firmware without the need for rebooting. They're calling it Intel seamless update and it could potentially allow it so that they can patch things and make it so that you have 100% uptime, 100% that's not based on necessarily needing to reboot for a firmware update and that it can actually run in the UEFI in real time. It's supposed to be launching in time for the arrival of Intel Sapphire Rapids Xeon processors, but this is kind of neat. I like to see new technology from this. Could we make it so that Windows never has to restart my computer? Because that actually happened as I sat down to film hot news today. Everything was gone because it was restarting. And then it does that thing where it's like, do you want the best experience Windows can give you? And I always have to click not right now because they keep bringing it back and I can't get it to go away because I turned off all of the tracking stuff and they're like, hey, we're not tracking you. This is the worst Windows experience you could possibly have. You sure you don't want us up in your butt? No, I don't, Windows. Microsoft, you stay out of my pie hole. Okay, I'm gonna stay out of your screens because this episode of Hot News is over. Why don't you check out yesterday's episode of Hot News where we talked about Nvidia and how they're covering up for the fact that they are totally, allegedly, theoretically, conspiratorially partnering with PlayStation to bring PlayStation games to the PC. I'll see you tomorrow for breakfast, my friends. Hot News off. I didn't do it.